Tim Blake was effectively, though temporarily, locked out of his YouTube channel. Kraut and T has recently been suspended from Twitter. Twice. And Sargon gets suspended and unsuspended from Twitter on what seems to be a bi-monthly basis. This kind of censorship is... preferable. And that is the oddest sentence I thought I'd never say. I don't like or approve of when anyone gets silenced, for basically any reason. I don't like third parties meddling in what I can say and what I can hear. However, Twitter and YouTube are privately owned platforms and they're not obligated to indulge me in free speech absolutism. So if they are to censor certain ideas or positions, this is how I'd like them to do it. A clear message of this account has been suspended or your account has been limited in these ways. This kind of censorship is, like any kind of censorship, undesirable, but at least it would be honest and transparent. But who would want honesty and transparency when you can have trust and safety? This shit on Twitter and YouTube is getting ridiculous. The majority of replies I receive to tweets from people I don't follow don't show up under my tweet. Even if I do follow them, the entire chain of tweets isn't always visible. I'll click on the Show More Tweets button, and then nothing more will show up. You'll see the message, this tweet is unavailable. But the tweet is absolutely available. You just need to go to the direct link for it. On YouTube, you can see the comment counter going up, and you know comments are being left. But they aren't showing up, even when you have no filter options enabled on your channel. Sometimes you just won't get videos from people you're subscribed to. I've had to unsubscribe and resubscribe to multiple people in order to get their latest videos. These platforms are meddling in what you can and cannot see in ways they are not communicating to you. Here are some practices I find helpful in keeping on top of how you're being fucked with. Does it say this tweet is unavailable? Click it. It might be available. Does a tweet say it has more replies than you can see? Open it up in an incognito window and you might see more replies. Has one of your tweets not gotten any or as many engagements as you think it should? Ask one of your followers if that tweet showed up in their timeline. Are you not getting videos in your sub box from people you're subscribed to? Attempt unsubscribing and resubscribing to them to see if that changes anything. After leaving a comment on a video, open up the video in an incognito window and see if your comment is still visible. Side note, an extra large fuck you to any users engaging in this kind of censorship. Especially during a time like this when filtering is becoming such a problem. Fuck you for presiding over what is and isn't a productive conversation. I don't know for how long these workarounds will be effective or if they're entirely effective at the moment, but coming up with or sharing a solution to this problem wasn't the point of this video. The point of the video is this. Stay aware of what you're not seeing. My dude Count Dankula, who you might know as the Nazi pug guy, is going to court over his hate speech in a few weeks. His YouTube, Twitter, and Minds accounts are linked in the description. I ask that you send him some love, but more importantly, if you aren't aware of what's been going on with Marcus, look into what's being done to him by both the media and the Scottish legal system. It's Count Dankula on YouTube. Everybody should subscribe.